What's up guys? It's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We have the jealous cat, Miss Ava, right here. I'm trying to get a nice little angle of her. She's so beautiful. And I wanted to make a little health update video about Miss Ava because we've going through a few different changes right now. So at the time of this video, Ava is a little over 18 and a half. And we are having a few new health issues. So just to give you an update since my last one, Ava was uh, getting subcutaneous fluids once a week. I was trying to do it myself at home. That proved to be quite difficult. She really doesn't like it. And the vets were kind of saying that in favor of maintaining my relationship with her as she goes into super old age, they would rather me bring her to them so that they can do it uh, without much strain in our relationship. Um, as well as honestly, I just, I was not able to master doing it. She's so small. And so trying to get her to stop squirming, to get her to um, kind of settle down and allow for it to happen, it just wasn't happening for me. And she actually gets uh, two vets when she goes to the vet uh, veterinarian for her fluids because she uh, now has quite a little reputation of uh, giving them a problem for the fluids. So um, she is now known as a very sassy lady at the vet. And so they want her to have fluids more often now because she's her kidney disease is advancing and that is very normal for an older cat. Uh, chronic kidney disease is something that a lot of older cats get. And uh, it's not something that we can cure, it's just something that we can manage and kind of slow down and, and with medication. So they wanted her to get fluids every other day to, to help give her more hydration, but right now we're, we're keeping it at once a week. And I, I'm you know still gonna try to do my best to maybe give her fluids when I can't get to the vet, but it's it's really hard. And due to that uh, further dehydration that she's experiencing, the vets wanted to do an ultrasound on her. So poor Ava got her little belly shaved and she had to go into an ultrasound and she had to have a nice little sedative and be super nice for them. And uh, the sedative didn't work because they think she threw it up, but they were able to get the ultrasound done and we recently got the results and it turned out because they were a little bit concerned about something they saw with her liver and that's kind of been a question that's been coming up in the blood work in that things look okay but there's something about liver enzymes or something with the liver and that's not unusual because the medication she's on for her uh, seizure disorder she's on phenobarbital and sometimes that can cause issues with the liver so she now uh, may have to get another blood test to test her liver and maybe that means that we change the seizure medication. Um, the other option is uh, surgery, perhaps, or something more, uh, I guess not invasive, but something more advanced to see what's going on with her liver. But the vet's been pretty frank with me as far as um, with her age and other chronic health issues, uh, how realistic doing surgery on her is right now and how well she will take that and what that will actually add to her life. So we're just kind of doing what we can to uh, keep Miss Ava going. And uh, I do think that she has a very high quality of life. I don't believe she's in pain. She is sleeping, eating, uh, very active for a girl her age, uh, does not appear to be in any pain. And the vets have not broached any concern about that. So right now we're just kind of managing things. And, you know, if there's something that we can do for her liver that maybe involves changing medications or maybe adding a medication, I am all for it. I think that she is incredibly healthy um, and for cons all things considered. And I am so lucky. And so um, just wanted to give you that health update, guys, because I know that Miss Ava doesn't appear or cry <laughs> in my videos as much as she used to. The truth is she, uh, oh, you guys see her little shaved belly. <laughs> She's so small. You're so cute. Um, Ava. But I wanted you to know she is doing really well. We are just doing some little investigating about new health issues coming up. 
She sleeps a lot now, um, which she has been doing for a few years as she has been a senior for a while. And I also wanted to share a few really precious pictures and videos about what Miss Ava has been up to since you don't hear about her too often. Uh, she got a princess tent for uh, Christmas and uh, I love to spoil her. My boyfriend thinks I'm absolutely nuts, but I, what can I say? Um, so she has a princess tent, which she absolutely adores. Um, this is one of her many beds <laughs> that she uses. She also has a new laser. Her old laser died. She has never been one to necessarily play with toys. She will play with like random stuff, like scraps of paper and like other stupid things like that. But whenever I've bought her a really expensive, cute toy, she does not care about it. Um, which makes me sad because there's so many cute little like mice toys that you can get cats, but she doesn't care about that. But what she does love is chasing the laser. Where'd it go, Eva? Where is it? <gasps> Eva. <laughs> Ava, you got it! And I am so thankful that at her age, she still wants to do that and that she can do that. You know, she doesn't run like she did when she was a kitten, but I can still sense that, you know, little hunting instinct, and I can still sense that she has great mobility for her age. And uh, Ava was quite a hunter in her younger years. She used to be an indoor-outdoor cat, and uh, she is no longer an outdoor kitty, but she used to climb trees and bring us all sorts of animals, and uh, sometimes that was not too great, but <laughs> she's uh, very smart. I had uh, bought her some stairs to help her uh, get onto her bed or get onto the couches, as I figured that you know, eventually she's going to get a little bit weaker and that certainly has been happening. I noticed that her back legs shake sometimes, um, like she's getting tired a little bit because their muscle mass, especially with the back legs, starts to just decrease with age. Um, however, she does not want to use the stairs. I got the, her these stairs probably at least six months ago and she has continued to not use them at all and almost insult me about them. It's almost as if she's telling me, like, mom, I am not that old yet. I do not need your baby stairs. I can jump on the bed and I can jump down from things. And she still continues to go up and down the stairs like a pro, maybe just a little bit slower now. And uh, one thing that is like so precious that she's been doing, and she's always done this, but I think she's just so much more affectionate um, as we spend more time together and as she gets older and more cuddly uh, she loves to be under the covers with me and if there's no covers to be under she will actually try to like paw at my shirt or like try to get underneath me or my clothes so that she can I don't know if it's like she wants to be close to a heat source <laughs> which I totally understand or like she just wants to be under something but she is like obsessed with being in blankets I think that's also why she likes her tent and why I wanted to give her that because it's like an enclosed space. She loves being enclosed and it's just giving me such cute pictures and videos. I'm so lucky. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, that is Miss Ava. She's doing great, guys. She's uh just carrying on. Ava, you want to say hi? Baby. Hey. Ah, Ava. You're so pretty. 
she's just carrying on. I have a new collar for her that I'm going to be putting on soon. It's like pink with a pink crystal heart. It's going to be adorable. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to spoil the crap out of her and, and enjoy every moment. And I think she is too. I think that we both um, realize that we have something very special and we love each other very much. And she's absolutely amazing. Anyway, guys, if you have a, uh, I, I think all of us have a pet that we love so much or have loved so much. And, you know, if you're an animal person like me, you totally understand the attachment and how difficult this period can be. Um, it's not that time yet, but I am just completely focusing on just with whatever I do that I am doing right by her. And um, yeah, just appreciating and taking the awareness in that there are things that are progressing and things that are happening that I can't control no matter how much I try to extend our time. And so, yeah, I'm just going to focus on doing my best. And, you know, if there's a decision I need to make, it has to be the right one for her. But we're not at that time yet. I'll certainly keep you updated. Miss Ava is doing fine right now. She is happy. She is healthy. She's eating, drinking, having treats, running around, being crazy, still crying <laughs> like she has the lungs of a lion or something. Um, yeah, she's doing great. I am I am just so proud of her. And I'll continue to keep you updated. I hope you guys really love the videos and pictures. Ava is a character <laughs> and I've never met a cat like her. She's so special. Um, all right. Anyway, talk to you later. See you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. I promise that I will actually be talking about spiders in that video. Take care. Bye. Uh, excuse me. No. <laughs> Ava. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, you save your meows. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs>